I have mentioned in my last video that iron is the most useful metal to humans, as 90% of all refined metals involve iron. But why is it so important? What does it actually do? In this video, I will briefly go over the history of iron, the science of iron and steel, and why it's so important. Some archaeologists believe that humans have used iron somewhere between 5000 and 3000 BC in ancient Egypt, most likely from meteorites. That's more than 7000 years ago. It was used in some tools and trinkets, but it wasn't until the Iron Age, around 1200 and 600 BC, after the Bronze Age, when iron was more widely used. This is the time period where people found out that iron could be heated with carbon to make steel, a material that we still use today. So now, what is iron really? Iron is a silver metal that is soft and malleable, which means that it can be easily made into different shapes. But it rusts easily, especially in moist air. Iron is the second most abundant metal right after aluminium, making up 5.6% of the Earth's crust. So it's one of the cheapest metals out there. Even our Earth's core is made of iron. Naturally, we don't really just have a chunk of iron laying in the ground. It's found in ores, namely hematite and magnetite. Iron is also essential for organisms, as it helps our blood transport oxygen and it helps plants create more chlorophyll. Now let's talk about the most important use of iron, the production of steel. Around 90 to 95 percent of all metal being processed daily consists of iron, most commonly in the production of steel. The composition of steel is usually around 0.3 to 1.5 percent carbon, which strengthens the iron because it stops the iron atoms from vibrating and moving around so easily. However, adding too much carbon can make steel too brittle. Steel is an important material because it is very strong, yet very cheap to manufacture. And it is used to make a frying pan all the way to a space rocket. Not only can we add carbon to iron or steel, we can also add many different elements as well to this alloy to give it different properties. We can add chromium to make steel more durable and more rust resistant, giving rise to stainless steel containing around 15% chromium, a common material for kitchenware. We can also add nickel to make steel more durable and more heat and acid resistant, giving rise to nickel steel alloys containing around 3.5% nickel, making it a great material for making containers for dangerous chemicals. We can also add manganese to make steel more durable and more wear and tear resistant, giving rise to manganese steel containing 12 to 14% manganese, which is used for cement mixers and prison bars, where high impacts are common. We can also add tungsten to make steel more durable and very heat resistant, giving rise to tungsten steel containing around 10% tungsten, which has an impressive melting point of 3,422 degrees Celsius the highest melting point of any metal. The steel is most commonly used in drill heads. And there we have it. Iron is the most important and used metal in the world, dating back to 5000 BC. Its abundance, cheap price, and versatility in alloying makes this metal one of the most fundamental building blocks of structures. I hope that y'all have learned something interesting today. Thank you for watching and good luck with everything.